what's up? So I got the Yeezy Quantum Mist Slate. Got them in a size 12.5. I did grow up a half a size according to Adidas recommendation. And uh, yeah, here's what I here's what I think about them. So I got lucky, I guess, with these. They were available one random morning when I woke up and uh, I just look online and they were like, yeah, we got a size 12.5 available. So I was like, okay, because I, I missed the first round of these, right? Uh, there was an initial huge just uh, sale of all the Yeezys and whatever. And then like a lot of the larger sizes uh, sold out. And then, yeah, one random morning I woke up maybe two weeks after the first round and I saw these and I was like, okay, I'm going to give them, give, give them a, a try. And uh, yeah, here they are. They, I like the color. I really like the color. That's the main reason I got this model in this colorway. I, I don't really like it in the Onyx, the, um, the blue, uh, silverish colorway. It looks pretty cool, but I was like, if I'm going to wear this every day and I want, I want to in general have lighter pairs of shoes, uh, this, I, I, I can handle this colorway and it looks a bit more saturated in person than it does in the photos. And I think that's a good thing. Material wise, the, this is the non basketball version. You can mainly tell because of the knit similar to a knit that you would see on a 350 right here. Uh, I like the suede insert on the front. Uh, the black right here is pretty cool. You would think it's laceless, but no, it's not. It actually has very long laces. Uh, this bit right here, I'm not the biggest fan of, but again, with the colorway and all that, it kind of works out. It looks better than um, the Onyx colorway, in my opinion. And then the red on the bottom is just, just a really nice touch. I really like that. So anyway, comes with the cardboard inserts in your paper filler right there. Uh, now I can show you all the laces too. There's the laces right there. They're not fire starters like my 500 highs, but they are capped like completely. So that's something. Try them on, yeah? So on a TTS, true to size, size 12, right? Mm -hmm. Gotta love the, the box part that <laughs> all easy boxes do for some reason. And um, yeah, right, y'all can probably see I'm wearing the 500 high tactical boots. These are a true to size, size 12. And I consider these the most perfect fitting Yeezys in my collection. And I'm um, also wearing the Yeezy socks. So <laughs> a little Easter egg right there. Not that hard to put on. It's just when you have your thumb here, it, it can be a bit weird. You gotta, it feels like you gotta tug on it pretty hard, but slip right in. And immediately, toe room, perfect, width, perfect. So they fit you know, properly, right? And to some people, yeah, they do. To me, it all goes downhill when I start to walk. So, two to size, size 12, right? And um, I, I got a 12.5. The first thing I notice, the heel lift. And that's something I've never noticed in really any other easy. <laughs> Even uses it like this, that I feel fit me perfectly. I mean, when I think about it, yeah, I can feel a little bit of heel lift, but this is a lot of heel lift, <laughs> okay? And, um, but other than that, I mean, the width feels perfect. The toe box feels perfect. Everything feels great. But when I take the step and I feel my heel lift about an inch off the inner sole, that's where I'm like, ah, <laughs> maybe it's not the best thing. Now, if I was to go shoot a size on this, the main thing I'm worried about is the width, right? But this bit right here is really soft. This is the only reason I'm concerned about um, any ease that fits too small. I have a bone right here that sticks out a bit that I would think makes me, put, puts me in that uh, wide foot um, area. And um, yeah, if, if a shoe is too narrow, it feels like it's resting on a brick wall and it's super uncomfortable. It's the main issue I have with the 450s that are also in a size 12, but um, I, I want to believe if I was to go true to size on these, I would be fine and they would shorten up enough for me to get rid of that heel lift uh, issue that I'm having right now. But also a bit of a side by side, hopefully y'all can see it okay. Trying to line up my heels 
so you can get an idea of the dimensions. Yeah, if I was to back my foot up like all the way to the back, I got, yeah, that's my toe right there. Right here is where my toe is, my big toe. Big toe in the 500s are right here. Yeah. So I, I would say go true to size on these, honestly, at least in this colorway. I know different colorways may have different sizing. So for the Mist Slate colorway, I would say go true to size. But if you don't want to ever worry about anything and you don't mind the heel lift, go half size up. You won't be too disappointed, but expect the heel lift. But yeah, that's really all I got to say about these. Um, thanks for watching, as always, and uh, more soon.